Uh, we're going to go over how to upload files, how to create a folder and put files in it, how to share your files folders with others, backing up your files from your device as well. So we're going to go over what is Google Drive. So Google Drive, it is a file storage and synchronization service. So it's provided by Google and it's free. So you would have to have a Google account or a Gmail account and you can sign up for one if you like. It also uh, is a shared storage space for your other Google products. So if you have used other Google products such as Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Photos, all of these uh, platforms, they share the storage with Google Drive. So if you use any of these, you create like files or photos within these products, they share the storage with, within Google Drive. And all of this is cloud-based. So all your documents and photos are stored on your account. And like I mentioned before, you do need an account to utilize the service and you can sign up for an account for free. And you can access uh, Google Drive through your computer or an app on your smartphone or tablet. So where do you get Google Drive? So if you're looking to access Google Drive on your Android device, uh, if you have like a smartphone, um, you would go to the Google Play Store, you could download Google Drive from there. But usually if it is like an um, Android device, they would have a Google Drive already installed on your device. But if you don't have it, you can always go to the Google Play Store. And if you have iPhone or iPad, you could download it from the Apple App Store as well. And the easiest way to kind of organize your files or your access to this platform is the web portal because it's a lot bigger on your screen. You have more like functionality and you will go to these addresses on the screen right here, google.com slash drive or drive.google.com. So once you go to those links I mentioned earlier, you will go get to the Google Drive website where they'll ask you to log in with your information, your login information and your password. So I'm already logged in. So this is what you'll see on your screen once you log into your account. This is kind of like the main Google Drive screen where you, all the functionality, all your files kind of live. So, and I will go over that as well. So on the left-hand side of your screen right here near the top, uh, you see Drive and the Drive logo. So this is kind of like the home button. So wherever you go within Google Drive, if you click back on here, they, it will kind of bring you back to the home screen of Google Drive where you have access to all your files. And the next part would be the new button right here. It says new and there's kind of like a plus sign and it's kind of like a rainbow color. So you will click on this and kind of like a pop-up menu, which kind of show up. And this is kind of how you will create a new folder or a new file within a Google Drive. So let's say you have a lot of files in Google Drive and you don't want it all kind of scattered. You just want it in a specific folder. So you will click on the new button right here and you will click on folder, which is right here, folder. And there's like a folder with a plus sign. You click on that. And on your screen, there should be uh, like a pop-up saying new folder and how you want to name your folder. I'm gonna name it test folder two. And after that, I'll click create. And it's gonna create a new folder. And let's see. So if you look on the screen near the middle right here, it says test folder two. So I just created this folder right now. So it's gonna live here on the screen. So right here, I'm gonna use my mouse to kind of show you this. All of these, these are all your files and folders within your Google Drive. So you have folders, you got files. It, it kind of depends on what kind of files you upload or save to your Google Drive, but they're all gonna live here. And you can sort it by last modified, which is right here near the right-hand side. And if you click on the kind of like triangle pointing down, you click on it, you give you more options, last modified or last modified by me or last opened by me. So I'm gonna click on this, last modified by me. So it's gonna show test folder two, which is right now. So I created it at 11.08 AM. And all of these are the other sample files that I have uploaded to Google Drive. So next, I'm gonna go over uh, this option right here on the left side, shared with me. So Google Drive is kind of like an online platform where kind of other people can kind of share files with you as well. So if other people have, let's say a Google Docs, or Google Slides or Google Sheets file and they send it to you, then they're kind of sharing the file with you. And if you open it within your Google Drive account, it, it will show right here. And I'm, I'm click on it 
it's a shared with me. There's an icon next to it. It kind of looks like two people. So right now, for the example of this class, there are two files here. These two files, they're not owned by me. They're Well, technically they're owned by me, but I shared it with this account from my other account. So it says Google Drive, Google Photos handout, shared by Mike's and the share date. So these are the files that are shared with you. So if you have a lot of people sharing files with you and you open it within your file, your account, then this is where it will be. The next option would be recent. So recent kind of kind of shows you like all the files that you have accessed or have you opened or deleted. So it will show you all right here. And it's gonna be like a whole list right here. So these are the files that I've accessed recently and I've deleted some files as well too. So next I'm gonna go over the start option. So this option is where if you have like certain files in your Google Drive, such as uh, Google Docs or Google Sheets or a PDF that you think is very important and you wanna have easy access to it, there is a start option. It's kind of like a favorites option. You click on the star and it will kind of start that file and you can have access to it right here in this screen right here. So you might have a, like a thousand files and you might not be able to find certain files. So if it's important, you might star it and it will show up here and it will make it easier for you to look for those files. So the next option would be the trash option. So this is where kind of all your files go if you don't want them or you decide that you might not need them. So if you delete your files within Google Drive, they'll show up here and they will stay here and for 30 days. After 30 days, they will be deleted forever. Next is the storage option. So it will be indicated by this link right here. It kind of looks like a cloud. So it's gonna show you all the files and folders that are within your Google Drive. So all of these are in my Google Drive account. And for Google Drive, you get 15 gigabytes of storage. So this storage is used throughout the Google platforms. So if you use Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Photos, and if you save the, those files in certain formats, then it, it will show up here and it will be in your Google Drive. And if you need more storage, you can always click on buy storage right here. And Google has the option of you, if you need more storage, you can upgrade your account as well. So I'm gonna go back. So I'm gonna go back to the home screen right here. I'll click on drive. So near the top right here, it's quick access. So like for instance, some kind of fi the files you access the most, they'll show up here. So you will not have to look for them in the future. And if I scroll down, these are all the sample files that I have uh, uploaded to my Google Drive account. So notice on the right side right here, there is a file size. And notice that some of these files, they have a size, but some of these files, they don't have a size. So the reason for it is, for Google Drive, if you um, save a file such as um, Google Docs, Google Slides file in a Google format, they will live here, but then they will not count towards your Google Drive limit. So for instance, this file right here, test file, this is a Google Sheets file that I have uh, uploaded and there's no file size right here. So it shows that it's not taking up space, but then there is content within this file because it is a Google Sheets fo format file and it doesn't count towards your limit. But for instance, if I have the same file, but it is in a Microsoft Excel format right here, like this one, test file, it does show up as a size. So it does count towards your Google Drive li limit as well. So this works for Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Slides. So if you have a Microsoft Excel file, Microsoft uh, Word file, Microsoft a PowerPoint file, and if you upload it to your Google Drive account and it stays in that format, it will count towards your Google Drive limit. But if you convert it to the Google format, that it will not count towards your limit. So to convert it, there is one option for you to do. So near the top right-hand side of your screen, there is this widget right here. It kind of looks like a bolt and it's kind of like a settings uh, option if you click on it you kind of pop up more options and you click on settings. So here there is the option of convert uploads. 
So if you check this, it will convert your uploaded files to kind of like the Google format. So this works for Microsoft uh, Excel files, Microsoft Power, uh, PowerPoint files, uh, Microsoft Word files. So if you have a Word, Excel, or PowerPoint file on your computer and you upload it to Google Drive and you select this option, it will convert it to the Google format and it will not count towards your Google Drive limit. So let me uncheck that. So this is going to change in the future. So I'll go over that later on as well. So right here, you see all your files. And right here, you see I have uploaded a photo to Google Drive. So this photo is in my Google Drive account, and it is taking up space in my Google Drive account. But if you use Google Photos, and if you upload photos through Google Photos, and you have Google Photos kind of compress your files, your photos, then those files will not count towards your 15 gigabyte limit. So right now you see all my files here, they're kind of listed, but let's say it doesn't look very good. So there is another option of kind of viewing your files and it's kind of obvious right here on the right-hand side, it kind of looks like a grid. This is the grid view. If you click on it, it will kind of change your view of your files. So it'll kind of give you like a preview of your file here. This is like a sample file. I didn't type much in. So it, you can see it's kind of blank. My photos right here, Google Sheets right here. So this is another way of viewing your files within Google Drive. So you could see like what kind of file it is and you don't have to look for it if you have all different names. And your folders are usually near the top here, right here. And if you don't like this view, you always go back to the previous view by clicking on this icon right here near the top right-hand side. It kind of looks like a lot of the lines, the list view, and it brings you back to the previous view, which is right like this, it's a list. So now you've kind of looked at all your files, how to create like a folder, and you want to search your files. So this is the search option right here is near the top. So if you click on it, you could type in the file name if you want but let's say if you don't know the file name. So you could click on the triangle uh, icon right here, the search option, and you can search by all of these options right here. So first one is type. So right now it's any, if you click on the triangle pointing down, you can search by type. So it could be photos, PDFs, documents, spreadsheets, forms, and all of these other formats as well. So let's say I wanna look for a file that's a document. So click on documents, it's owned by any, and I hit search. So now it found that all of these files that are documents within my Google Drive account. So notice that it pulls up the different kind of files. So I have Google Docs files and I have a Microsoft Word file. So it, it kind of knows that these are kind of the same format and it'll pull this up for your results as well. I'll click on X, I'll go back. So go back to search, so type any, and owner. So like I mentioned before, Google Drive, it is online platform. So other people can share their files with you. So you can search for files that others have shared as well. You can search by anyone, owned by me, not owned by me, or a specific person. So I want to say not owned by me. And I'm gonna hit search. So these two files here, they're not owned by me but I have access to them because the other person has shared this file with me. So I'm gonna go back to search and you could do this for your other search as well too. Anywhere, it, you could search in trash as well too. So if you've deleted some files and you wanna look for them, you can still search in the trash as well. And you can search by date modified as well too. Today, yesterday, last seven days, so you can kind of take a look. There's more options as well here near the bottom. Item name has words shared with. So this is a good way of kind of searching your files and like kind of sorting your files as well too. I'm gonna go back to the main screen. So Google Drive doesn't really have an option for you to sort your files by file type. So notice right here, these are all the different files. They're all different file types, but you can't really sort by file type. So the only way is to go to search and you can search by the document type. And this kind of lets you search by file type. I'm gonna go back. So 
So now you, you kind of see all your files right here and you want to move your files into your folder. So let's say I want to move this file right here, the untitled spreadsheet. I'll click on it. I'll use my mouse. And as you can see, I could drag it over and I could drag it over to the file that I want to move it into. So I'm going to move it to Google Sheets example right here. So this file is highlighted and I'm going to release my mouse. And this item will be visible to, to everyone who sees Google. So this file, I shared it with someone else. So I'm going to say move. So now it moved that file into this uh, folder right here, Google Sheets example. And I'm going to double click on the folder. And here, here it is. So this is the folder that I moved into. This is the file that, that I moved into the folder right here. So notice on the right side of the file name, there is kind of like a grayed out icon with two people in it. So it says shared. So this folder, it is shared with someone else. So, but the file that I moved into, it wasn't shared by someone else. But when I moved that fo file into this folder, that file automatically became shared because whatever file in this folder is shared with someone else. And I'm gonna go back. So you could kind of see like how, like if, it's, if the file is shared or not. So this the first folder, test folder two, it is not shared. So there's no icon in the folder right here, but these two folders, they are shared. And there's kind of like a person icon within the folder here as well. So I'm gonna show you how to share a folder or a file with someone. So let's say you want to share this file right here. If you click on it, this, is, this file is highlighted. And there are these options near the top right-hand side of your screen right here. So get a link, share test file, preview, remove, and more actions. So the first option is get a link. So if you click on this icon that looks like a paper clip and you have selected this file right here, a screen should pop up and it's gonna ask you, uh, who do you wanna share it with? So this is the get the link option. So this is the link to this, fo uh, this file right here. And you could copy the link and you could send this link to someone in an email or a text message or however you wanna share this file with or a uh, folder with. And here near the bottom, it says restricted. So you have only people can add, edit can open this link. So if you click on this, you can click on anyone with the link. So it's gonna change the sharing option of this uh, file. So anyone with this link can view this file, but you could change it as well too on the right-hand side. There is this option. There's a little triangle pointing down if you click on it. So you have viewer, commenter, and editor. So once you share this link with someone, the, the other people, they can view this file, but if you want them to edit it, you can click on editor. So anyone with this link can edit the file. Or if you don't want that, you want them to just comment on this, click on, on commenter, and anyone with this link can comment on your file. I'm gonna click on, let's see, editor. I'm gonna hit done. So right now, anyone with this link can edit this file. So let me go back. I'm gonna copy this link. I'm gonna hit done. So give me a second. So I'm gonna uh, paste the link in the chat. So now the link is in the chat. So if you click on it, you will have access to this file. And I'm, I'm gonna open the file. So now let's see. So now anyone with the link can uh, edit this file. So if you click on the link, you can get to this file and you can type in any words in here. So, so if you're on this link, why don't you type in 
felt like a word. So as you can see on the screen, I've, I've shared this link and there are other people in this file and it is shared and people can kind of edit the file as well. Okay, I'm going to go back. Give me a second. Okay, so now I'm back to the main screen right here. So that is pretty much how you would share a file with someone. But if you want to share a folder with someone, it's going to be the same process. So you click on the folder and you click on get link. And here's a link and you will change it to restrict it to anyone with the link. And you will change from viewer to commenter to editor. So these are all your options. I'll click on viewer and hit done. So now this folder is shared with someone with that through that link. So let me go back. I'll change it back to restricted. So the other option is share by this option right here. So it's going to be very similar to the previous screen. So let me go back to the icon. It's near the top right hand side of your screen. It looks kind of like a person with a plus sign next to it. So I'll click on it. And you bring it back to the screen. And it's going to be this option right here, share with people and groups. So you could type in a specific person's email. You could type in other people's email as well. You could be like a whole list. And once you do that, you hit done. So this folder will be shared by these email addresses. So the recipient will, will get a link to this file or folder and they'll have access to this file or folder. And if you, if you wanna change your options, there's this kind of widget near the top right-hand side right here. And it kind of looks like a bolt. If you click on it, it says editors can change permissions and share. So if you trust your editors, you might have this option selected. If not, you uncheck and you go back. So you still share this file or folder with someone, but they, don't, they won't have the option of kind of changing your permissions and sharing your file or folder with other people as well. So I'm gonna go back. So the other option is to delete your files and folders. So you would select it by clicking your mouse on these files or folders and just click on the trash icon right here, which is near the top right-hand side, hit remove. And this file is moved to your trash. And I'm gonna to go to trash right here. And there it is right here, trash. So I'm gonna go back. So right now you kind of looked at the Google Drive platform. You kind of know how to create a file, create a folder, how to move a file or folder. But let me go back to the very beginning here, new. So if you click on the new icon near the left hand side right here, these are all your options. So you create a folder. So now you, you want to upload a, a file or upload a folder. So I'm gonna click on this icon right here, file upload. So it's gonna ask me, where do I, where is my file that I want to upload? So a screen should pop up right here, but let me go back. I'm gonna change the setting. So like I mentioned earlier, there's this setting of convert upload. So I'm gonna click a check mark right here convert upload files to Google Docs editor format. And I'm gonna hit done. So now I'm gonna go back to new right here and I'm gonna click on file upload. So on your screen right here, I'm gonna upload a Microsoft Word file. So I'm gonna open and I'm gonna upload the Microsoft Word file. And since I selected that option earlier, it's gonna convert that Microsoft Word file into a Google Docs format. So upload is complete. So let me refresh. Let's see, where is it? Okay, so this is the file that I just uploaded. So. It uploaded at 11.29 a.m., which is right now, and is called test file. If I hover my mouse over it, it's gonna say Google Docs 
So it's, it uploaded my Microsoft Word file into a Google Docs of format. So if you're worried that since you're converting your files into like a Google format, you might not get it back, but you can always download the file back into the original format. So let me go back to this file right here. I'll double click on it. So I'm already in my file right here. This is the file that I uploaded from my computer. It was Microsoft Word. Now it's a Google Docs. I'll go back to the file option right here and I'll go back to download and I could download it back as a Microsoft Word uh, document or I could save it as a PDF document or any of these other formats as well. So let me go back. So earlier I mentioned that there are changes to Google Drive and that is gonna happen at the beginning of June. So June 1st, and those changes will affect how you store your files on Google Drive. So the one major change is, uh, the change is to Google Photos. So if you've used Google Photos, great. If not, then, then you always kind of preview it as well too. So Google Photos is a platform made by Google where you could store your photos and it shares your storage with Google Drive. So there are two options within Google Photos. You can upload your photos in original format, or you can upload it as a compressed format. So on your screen right here, I'm logged into my Google Photos account that's associated with my Google Drive account because any photos stored in Google Photos is stored on my Google Drive. And there are two options. So you can upload it as a compressed option or original option. I'm gonna click on the settings icon right here near the top right-hand side. And it's gonna bring you to the screen right here. So there are these two options, original and high quality. So if you select high quality, all your photos are kind of compressed and it doesn't count towards your 15 gigabyte limit in Google Drive. If you select original, then all your photos are stored in original format and that's gonna to count toward your 15 gigabyte limit. But there is a change. So for the beginning of uh, June of this year, uh, if you upload any photos into your Google Photos account in original quality or high quality, any of these options, your photos will count towards your Google Drive limit. So it doesn't matter if you compress your photo, photo, photos or not, they will still count towards your 15 gigabyte limit. But any fo photos that you upload before that date in a compressed format, it will not count towards your 15 gigabyte limit in Google Drive. So that is one change. So let me go back. So the second change is, like I mentioned earlier, if you uh, kind of save your file in Google Drive in the Google format, such as this file right here, a Google Docs format, it doesn't count towards your Google Drive limit. But with that same date, that's gonna change as well. So any file that you store or open or save in your Google Drive account, even though it is Google, a Google format, it will count towards your 15 gigabyte limit after that date. But any files that you have in your Google Drive account before that date will not count towards your 15 gigabyte limit. So this file right here, for example, I uploaded this file today and it is a Google Docs format. So by the date, that it's gonna change June 1st. If I don't edit anything in this file, it will still be counted towards the previous rules. So that's not gonna to count towards your limit. But if this I open this file after that date and I add things to it or I change things to it, then that counts as like a modify and that's gonna change the file and it is gonna to count towards your 15 gigabyte limit. So that change is gonna happen, uh, I believe, June 1st, so anything before June 1st, it will not count towards your limit. So for the example of this class, I've taken screenshots of Google Drive on a device. So this device is an Android device. And so it might look a little bit different on your device if you have like a newer version, an older version, or if you have like iPhone or iPad, but it's kind of like the same elements are there. It, it just might be in a different location. So the first screenshot on the left side right here, it is kind of like a, how you would view Google Drive on your device. 
the, so this is kind of like the main screen of Google Drive on your device. You have the search box in your top, you have your files here on your screen, and you have kind of like the navigation buttons on the bottom here as well. So there's a home button. So this is the home button where all my files live. There is a star button. So it's kind of similar to what I went over earlier in the web portal. So this is where you kind of star your files. If they're important, you can access them in like a faster way. There is a, the third option right here. It's kind of like your shared option. So these are your files that have been shared with you by other people. And the last option would be your files. So the second screenshot on your screen right here, it is kind of like a pop-up menu. So you will access this menu by clicking on the, the hamburger option near the top left-hand side of your screen. So it kind of looks like this. I'm pointing to it with my mouse. So once you click this, you have th this option right here and you have access to all these options. So recent, offline, trash, notification, backups, storage. So these are all your options. And the third screenshot right here on the right-hand side is your files. So once you click on the files option, you have a more in-depth look at all your files in your, your Google Drive account. And so this option right here near the bottom right-hand side of the screen, there's a plus sign. It's kind of, kind of like a rainbow color. You click on it. It's going to be very similar to the web portal. It will let you open file, open like a file, create a new file, create a new folder. So if you click on it, you'll see this option right here. So it's going to look very similar. You could create a new folder. You could upload a, a file or folder from your device. If it's a phone or tablet, you have a camera. You could scan like a, like a document. You could create a new Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides through here as well too. So, so let's say I want to create a new folder. So I'll click on folder. And on the second screenshot in the middle right here, I create a new folder. So test folder right here. So now that you have a folder and you want to move your file to the folder, it's going to be a little bit different versus the web portal. So the web portal earlier that I showed you, you would use your mouse and you click on the file and you would drag it over to your folder. So you can't really do that on your smartphone or tablet. So you would have to select the file you want to move first. So for the third screenshot right here, I selected this one file, test file. Once I select it, there's going to be a check mark near the bottom left-hand side of your screen. It's kind of an indication that you selected this file. So this file is selected. And you will click on the icon near the top of your phone or your device. It will look kind of look like a folder with like an arrow pointing to the right. So it's going to look like this. So once you click on this, it's going to ask you, where do you want to move this file to? And I only have one folder in my Google Drive which is test folder. So once I click on this icon right here, I'll select this folder and it's gonna move this file into this folder. And that's how you would create a folder and move a file to your folder on your device. So now you kind of looked at Google Drive, how to create a folder, uh, upload a file or folder, make kind of edits. So what if you need more help? So there are these options right here on your screen. Uh, near the top right hand side, it kind of looks like a question mark in a circle. So support. So if you click on it, uh, pop up screen should show up. So there's help training. So if you need more help, click on help. And you could kind of ask questions like if you need help finding a folder, uploading a file to Google Drive, like what I went over earlier, you click on one of these or you type in your question in the search box near the top and it will give you the results. So let's say I have questions about upload files and photos to Google Drive. I'll select this option right here. So it's gonna give you like instructions on how to, to do it from your computer, your Android device, your iPhone or iPad. And these are the instructions right here. And it's gonna tell you more convert documents into Google format and all of the good stuff. I'll go back. I'll go back to support and I'll go to training. So Google has this option as well too. These are all like the training tutorials as well. If you need a cheat sheet, you could go here, drive cheat sheet, and you have access to these as well. So that is one way to 
kind of get support in Google Drive, but the library does have other resources as well too. So I'm gonna to go to our website. So this is our website, uh, sfpl.org. This is our main website and you have access to uh, certain resources. So right here on the screen, there's uh, research and learn. It's in the middle near the top of your screen if you click on it and you have all these options as well. So one option is e-learning, which is right here. It's kind of indicated by a, a person with a light bulb in their head. So if you click on it, it will bring you to the e-learning page where there are a lot of platforms on here. 